Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to solve this interesting system of equation. We have 5 to the power x plus 5 to the power y equal to 30 and x plus y equal to equal to 3 and we need to find our x and y of course. This is a, a little bit complicated system of equation because we have x and y in our powers in our exponent and right here we have just x plus y equal to equal to 3. What are we going to do in our case? Take a look. I want to suggest you a really good method how to solve it. I write this first equation. So we will have 5, 5 to the power x plus 5 to the power y equal to 30. So this is our our first first equation. But I want to, I want to multiply both sides by 5 to the power x. For example, let's multiply right here by 5 to the power x and 5 to the power x right here, but right here we need to put parentheses. So I just multiply both sides by 5 to the power x. So what are we going to do next? Let's multiply this 5 to the power x by these elements, by this 5 to the power x and 5 to the power y, and right here we just just let the same as, as in our case. So multiplying 5 to the power x times 5 to the power x, we will have 5 to the power x squared. Two same elements multiplying by each other, we will have x squared. And plus 5 to the power x times 5 to the power y. So 5 to the power x times 5 to the power y and equal to 30 times 5 to the power x. So we just multiply both sides, nothing change. Of course, we can cancel it in a, in, in a reverse way, but I want to multiply both sides. And take a look, really interesting moment, because right here we have same base and different different powers. Different power. If we multiply it, we will have that, for example, a times a to the power x times a to the power y, we can write as a to the power x x plus y. So we can add our, our powers. And this is our formula. Same base, this is a equal to 5 and x and y, this is the same. So we can use this, this approach. What we will have? We will have that 5 to the power x square plus 5 to the power x plus y and equal to 30 times 5 to the power x. So we just use this rule. And I hope you you see right now that x plus y is really good, real good expression because x plus y equal to equal to three, and we can easily plug in this three in this power of five. What we will have five to the power x square plus five cube and equal to thirty times five to the power x. So does I hope you understand this step. Firstly, multiplying both sides by 5 to the power x. Secondly, using this rule. And moreover, this is a really good case because x plus y equal to equal to 3. And take a look what we, will, what we are going to do next. Right here, 5 cube equal to 125, we know it. And this element, it's really good to bring on the left because what we will have 5 to the power x square minus this 30 times 5 to the power x and plus 125 equal to 0. And why I write this in, in that order? Because right now we can see that we have 5 to the power x right here in the first power and right here we have 5 to the power x to the second power and moreover these two elements are the same. So we can use a substitution. So let this 5 to the power x equal to for example t. And we are going to solve this using, using t. Right here we have not t but t square, so t square minus 30t and plus 125 equal to equal to zero. And there, there are a lot of ways how can you solve this quadratic equation. But I want to show you my approach, how I solve it. Every time I use it we get a theorem, so the sum equal to minus b, so t1 plus t2 equal to 30, and the product t1 times t2 equal to 125. So I use this every time when right here this number equal to 1. So I use this this way how, how I solve it. And from here if you find the two numbers in which sum equal to 30 and a product equal to 125, we can easily write that t1 and t2 equal to 
So what, what you, which you, this number will be? So I hope that you understand that this one will be 25 and this second will be 5. Because if we add this, we'll have 30. If we multiply it, we'll have 125. Of course, you can solve this quadratic equation using A, A, B and C. And you can easily find it as well. But I want to show you in my approach how I, how I solve it. And let's solve this. Firstly, t1 equal to 25, but 5 to the power x equal to t. So 5 to the power x equal to 25. And right here, 5 to the power x, I write it as well. 5 to the power x equal to equal to 5. So let's solve this, this equation. 5 to the power x equal to 25. This is a classic, a classic exponential equation, because right here we have 5 to the power x equal to 5 square because 25 equal to 5 square and as you can see x equal to 2 because the same basis and we need to write an equation with our with our powers and right here 5 to the power x equal to 5 to the first power and from here x equal to 1 but this is only our axis we need to find our y as well so from here y equal to 3 minus x i write it on the bottom so y equal to 3 minus x. And let's plug in all of these numbers. So this is our x first equal to 2. And y first equal to 3 minus 2 will be, will be 1. So this is our first pair of solution. And 3 minus x, 3 minus 1. This is our x2. This is our y2 equal to 2. So we have two pairs. The first one, 2 and 1. And the second pair, 1 and 2. Of course, we can write an answer. So answer to this problem, first pair 2 and 1, when 2 is x, oh, doesn't matter, and second pair 1 and 2. And this is solution to this interesting, interesting question. Moreover, we can check, check the answer. Take a look. If we plug in 2 and 1, the second equation is good. And from here, second equation is good because 2 plus 1 and 1 plus 2 equal to 3. And moreover, let's check x and y in the first equation. So we will have, for example, 2 and 1, 5 square plus 5 to the first power equal to 30. This is good because 25 plus 5 equal to 30. And as you can see, this is the same element. So doesn't matter what 5 to the power x or 5 to the power y you multiply on both sides, you'll have the same answer. So it doesn't matter. This right here will have 1 and 2, right here will have 2 and 1. So so doesn't matter. So I hope you understand this explanation. If you don't, write a question in the comment, write a suggestion in the comment, it will be really interesting to read it. And I hope you understand this explanation and see you in the next videos. Have a great day.